Portia Antolana Film Pop Productions. watching Behind the Lens. I believe I got my first camera at the age of six. And ever since then, I've kind of been crazy with the camera. I have thousands of pictures in boxes at my parents' house and me just clicking away. My first camera with film is crazy. I actually went into college thinking I was going to be a nurse and be the head of this big nurse practitioner firm and it just didn't work out. I got to college and I got into graphics and this is back when MySpace was big and I was linking MySpace pages and taking pictures and manipulating them and I kind of wanted to turn it into more than a hobby. So I actually went into school trying to be a graphics major, went to the graphics program, found out that wasn't for me, it wasn't enough picture plan, it was more about building logos. So I went straight from the, to the photography department and basically never left. College is actually where I launched FemQuad. So between my major and building my business, it was like a natural fit. I officially launched FemQuad in January of 2009. And basically I just went into a full course. I knew that I wanted to focus on beauty. I knew I wanted to focus on fashion. So I basically went around campus and I found people who were willing to model for me. And from there, I built a portfolio. I would put it up on Facebook at the time. I didn't have money for a website or anything fancy. I would just put it up on Facebook and people would see it and they would contact me. And from there, I started learning, I started building, and it kind of just came together. right out of the habit of doing that because no one's going to believe in you more than yourself and it takes confidence because strength is all in the mind. You have to believe in yourself or no one else is going to believe in your product. So I make sure that even if I get in a down moment where a shoe's not going the way I want it to, I have to remember I'm in control of that. I can change that. The biggest hardship is really figuring out a brand and sticking to it and then finding a way to be a standout in a sea of other photographers. There are a lot of us, and so there has to be something that's different about you. Your work has to go just the extra mile just to be noticed, and then you have to be able to keep building that brand and find different ways to get your ideas out to different clients and your vision out to different clients, because that is the only way that your business will be successful in this field with so many competitors. FEMQA is actually, it stands for Feminine Quality, I knew as soon as I launched my business that I wanted, me being a female photographer and there not being many of us, I wanted something to let people know right away that I am female. And so I thought feminine quality and adding a feminine touch would be the best thing to do. I don't know if I've actually been treated differently, but I can definitely feel that some do underestimate me and it has a lot to do with not only my gender, but my age. A lot of people are shocked that I am so young and that I am a female doing this Sometimes, you know, you get the skeptical looks or they might try to over dominate, but I try to make it very clear that, you know, this is, I'm very in control of my brand and what I do, and I'm very capable of handling jobs. My ultimate goal, I would love to be published in Vogue, Nylon, I would love to get the cover of those type of magazines, Harper Bazaar. That's my main goal. I would also love to work with major corporations on ads. Those are my big things, getting the billboards, getting the magazine covers, doing fashion-related photography, because that's definitely what I'm rooted in, and that would be my greatest achievements. Oh,